maintain this road, to keep the riding surface in good condition. I was very disappointed when I came yesterday night. The road is deteriorating at a very fast pace. And if the government does not wake up to do something about it, that road will be completely destroyed and we have to reconstruct it anew. I also want to draw the President's attention to the Upper West Regional Hospital. Since he commissioned it, the hospital has not been given seed money to operate fully. And so it's not operating at full capacity. That is supposed to be the regional hospital, major referral hospital for the people of the Upper West. And if they get the seed capital and are able to employ to cover all sections of the hospital, it will provide good service to the people of this region. And so while we think about building more hospitals, we must fully utilize the capacity that we ha have already. Because it will be a lack of prioritization if you have a wholly built regional hospital with all equipment that you need there, and you can operationalize it, and yet prioritize the construction of new hospitals. So let's prioritize you know, getting this hospital fully operational so that people can have access to. When things do not seem to be going very well, they have had the courage with divine utterance to be able to call out the leaders of the country. At different points in time, various religious leaders have come out and called the leaders out about something they believe is not going right. I believe that God will continue to give you that divine utterance because you are the voice of the voiceless and you are with the grassroots at the grassroots level. Your churches are right down at the grassroots and you know what is going on in the country. Times are hard. Even though the new patriotic party, NPP, say that Times are not hard, but it's me who is giving Ghanaians the impression that times are hard. It makes me wonder what kind of logic, you know, that Ghanaians cannot feel hardship unless John Mahama comes and tells them that uh, times are hard. But I'm sure you are in the grassroots and you know what the quality of lives of people are. Unemployment is a very serious problem that we confront. And it's not only this government that is confronting the problem. Past governments have had the same problem. I've been president before. And I know that our economy is not creating jobs as fast as we are turning out young people from our educational institutions. And so the solution does not lie in one person's head. And that's why I've always suggested that we are willing as a party to join the ruling party. And let's have a high level uh, summit on job creation to see how we can come out with a communique on what succeeding governments will do to make sure that our young people can get uh, jobs to do and that we can grow the economy faster and make sure that our people live in decency and dignity. So these are suggestions that I've made. They've not been heeded so far. And it's my hope that God will touch the heart of the leadership so that uh, that can happen. The danger we face in not doing that is that our young people continue to lose faith in our democracy. Because then the point they make is, democracy doesn't work for us. Why should I come out and vote? It won't secure me a job. Politicians make promises and they don't fulfill the promises. So why should I waste my time? And when people begin to lose faith in your democratic system of governance, and people begin to lose faith in the state's ability to protect and care for them. That is when you have a situation where people start to take up arms against the state. And so you find some of our neighboring countries where because the presence of government is not felt in terms of taking care of the welfare of the people, they have insurgencies in different places. God forbid that that will happen in Ghana. But we must not sit like ostriches with our heads in the sand and say that Ghana is immune from any form of violence. And so continue to intercede on behalf of the people of Ghana. But at the same time, I think that it is your duty to let government know when things are not going well, because you are...